Hello and welcome to just a quick show actually. I'm just catching up with Liam and we were chatting about the new Slanesh and we said why don't we record our thoughts. So we're going to be having a quick look at the uh, Path to Excess leak today. Uh, joining me remotely because we are in the middle of lockdown season two is Liam. How are you doing mate? Hi there guys. <laughs> You're looking well. You look like you've been tidying up in your studio. That's pretty impressive. Green background. It's very nice. I've I've kept this lovely green background for young, so I've just never had the chance. Well, not the chance, just haven't really had the space. But <laughs> I'm I loving it. I'm but I'm... Make the best of it. Well, I'm loving it, mate. I'm loving it. It looks fantastic. I think it's worth saying that. Um... You know, uh, we'll have to do a few more chat shows, really, won't we, when we're catching up, try and do a few more of these. But um, also, it, it's also worth mentioning that Jack is going to be coming back anytime soon, or at least next weekend, I think. So we're going into Season 2 uh, Lockdown Bat Rep Series, um, which we're going to be running all over Christmas. And our plan is to try and film... We're going to try and film two a week, um, possibly three a week, and if we can do that over the Christmas period, it means even when Jack's returned to university, we will be releasing um, videos well after he's returned to, to university. Hopefully, what we want to try and do is get three months worth of content filmed. So it's going to be a bit hectic, but we're going to try and get it done. Um, right. Well, Liam, it's all about um, Path to Access, mate. That's what was on the uh, community channel a bit back. Um, we had a good uh, get excited about it, but um, we haven't done anything for the channel. Uh, initial initial reaction to what's this new character Sigvald? Oh, he's not a new character, is he? He's an old character. An and... old character been brought back, but it's really weird because he like, mm -hmm. like after mm -hmm. the whole world mm -hmm. exploded in the end times, um, he sort of just got his head caved in by um, what's his name, uh, the Troll King bloke. Frog. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Basically, um, he ripped his head off and then peed on his corpse because he called him ugly. Um, so that, that, you, normally you'd be dead after that. Um, but somehow they brought him back, and I don't know how, but in the trailer it was simply magnificent. The music, Bless. the heavy metal Mozart. Yeah, there's a very, very cool video that plays, isn't there, which kind of goes into this, um, I, I, let's see if we can, it kind of goes into, what, the, it's Mozart, isn't it, heavy metal Mozart version, um, I like it, I like it, it's a nice little bit of, uh, we always like a bit of colour added into the game, and the character looks interesting, <coughs> I wasn't a huge old world uh, knowledgeable person, um, in fact, it even mentions here, doesn't it? Yes, it's the glorious return of Sigvald, a fan favourite from the world that was, making a triumphant return. We knew that Slanesh would have to give him a chance to get vengeance on that incident with the troll. So there you go. Um, he's back. He's looking beautiful. There's a lot of very cool, uh, very cool music. And he's, yeah, pretty, pretty pleased with himself, isn't he? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's perfect. I mean, it's a great looking model, let's face it. Uh, you, they do this really clever thing on the webpage where you kind of scroll down to reveal the new model on top of the old model. Um, I love it. I love it. I love the aesthetic. Um, I love the golden armor. I love the fact that he's clearly going to be a big dude, isn't he? I mean, what is that base? I think proportionally that looks like a fifty mil base. Looking, that's four millimeters high. So that is a 50, 50 mil base. Yeah, you you think that's a sixty mil base? It could be. I reckon that's a sixty mil base, just based on him in comparison to the rest of the other plates it's coming out with. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like I say, I'm sure better men than me can kind of put together whether that 4mm adds up to 60 or 50 mil. At the very least, is 50 mil is potentially 60 mil, isn't he? And which makes him a pretty hefty dude, doesn't it? And a painter's paradise, let's face it. If you've ever wanted to try non metal metallic, non metallic metallic, this is the model to try it on. Um, but he's going to look cool no matter what you use on him, I think. Mm. It's the whole hair and the robes flying as well. 
So it's very much like, you know how the Keeper of Secrets are static with the cloak and stuff, and it's all going backwards as if they're walking, the air's going through it. Yeah. He's kept that blowing his hair. It's like someone's got one of those wind machines in one of those movies and he's blowing his hair like one of the actresses. But on well, top of a skyscraper, he's got the massive fan he's blowing it. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's it's definitely got that sort of theatrical pose to him, hasn't he? For sure, you know, you you kind of that music's playing in your head, just looking at the model, isn't it? And uh, no doubt there'll be a few gamers singing that as you put him on the table. What do you think to um, the the face features on this thing? Because he's got an interesting looking face, hasn't he? He's got this this kind of like flat nose, um, and I know that you have to be careful with these things because obviously it's also the painting style. They've done these quite pronounced cheekbones and stuff. That doesn't necessarily mean the model 100% reflects that. Um, so you do have to be careful reading too much into a paint scheme over a model shape, don't you? But what do you think, then? I, I love the face. Um, it's all... It's it's Slaneshi. It's the whole perfect... It's how it was with Sigvald originally. The only difference is he's got four horns now. So yeah, he's definitely go towards a keeper of secrets look. look yeah, well, I mean, it's fair enough, isn't it? If you're going to get upgraded, you might as well pop a couple of extra horns on. I mean, it, I don't see why you wouldn't. Uh, obviously, when it comes to you know, Age of Sigmar ten or whatever, it might be up to six horns or something like that. Um, the sword. What do you think to that sword, man? It's incredible. I, I like the whole rapier look. You know, um, yeah, the whole hilt and stuff. It looks very ornate, and it's just. I'd say it's a simple sword. It's a very traditional sword. It's not like the Chaos one with like seven horns, an eye, and a little bit of someone's hand on it that's coming out and trying to grab you. It's like a proper sword. It's yeah. even got a Sinesh logo on it as well. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, of course it does. A little Sineshi icon there. That is very cool. Um, you know, I have to say as well, I'm kind of liking that they've stuck with is not too mutated, is not too weird. I mean, the horns are okay. He's got horns, but other than that... He's pretty much just a giant human dude, isn't he? Mm. I think he might be Archeon sized, you know. Give him Archeons a... Oh, yeah, okay, right, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you meant like the whole model. <laughs> oh, no. It's not going to be the same. Yeah, it kind of makes that. sense, wouldn't it? It would kind of make sense. A Mega Gargan size. <laughs> uh... So, um, outside of that, of course, you know. Showcase of the fantastic character. We're also going to get a sneak peek of some of the forces he's commanding. First up are the Miradesh uh, Painbringers. It's not just a clever name. Uh, they're armed with wicked scimitars, and uh, uh, the unit that will definitely be bringing pain is the uh, wonderful, colourful uh, um, illustration for us there. In terms of, I'm trying to get it centre on the screen, but I keep moving them. Well, again, what are you thinking to these guys? We got the hel they're all helmeted. Is that right? Yep, yeah, yep, all um, helmeted. Uh, kit, so you do get the other unit from this kit. Ah, um, okay. These, um, these, um, this unit here, I like a lot because it very it reminds me of 300 with the immortals and stuff. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very um, what's the word? Ah, oh, Turkish. Yeah, very Turkish, yeah. Turkish army conquering the world and stuff. No, masks, there's a... uh, well, the scimitars, uh, masks, and it's just the whole armor and stuff. It's yeah, it's a very thing. cool style. Very cool style. There's some little bits of detail I want to pick up on. Like some of the armoured feet are actually like uh, cloven hooves. So you've got the little sort of trotter divide there down the toes and stuff. But, you know, clearly human shape underneath. But the fact that the armour is kind of shaping a bit like, like you say, kind of keeper of secrets uh, influence. Um, I just love the sheer volume of spikes all over them. Um you know, it is like 2XS. Everything is 2XS. The armor is 2XS. The weapons are 2XS. The helmet's 2XS. I think it's just... For me, I think it's great. It's just really exciting to see mortals coming into the Chaos Factions and getting expanded mm. out. Um, what's the unit where they're on, which was already out, where they're on the super fast runny dudes? And you know this army more than I do. Um, Hellstriders. Hellstriders, yeah. Because that was that the only mortal yeah. unit that was available prior to this? Um, yes, it was actually. Um, yeah. Actually, there was a Slanesh Lord on Boob Worm that's right. really old, but I don't really do the model anymore. Oh, but, okay. Um, it was an old Lord on Mount, essentially. But ah. 
apart from that, these are literally the only the house driders, should I say, are the only um models that are mortal before this. Uh, you've got the Hell Striders, haven't you? Um, how do these fit in with them? Do you think? Um, Look-wise, they fit in really well because the Hell Striders on the back, um, you can build them with the armored heads, which right. fit in with the dudes over here because they're very um, Spartan-like and they've got face over and they've got the frills. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the um, demonic possession heads, which are very um, pinhead and. Um, What's that name called? What's the movie called for? Hellraiser. Uh, yeah, Hellraiser. yeah. Hellraiser, right? And I reckon with a mishmash of all the heads in together, the army will fit perfectly together, especially with painting the armour exactly the same. So, yeah, very cool, man. Very cool. Um, and then there's another unit as well, the uh, Simbaresh Twin Souls. These are mortals who have forged a dark pack with lesser demons of Slanesh. Um, so it's it started to um, share their bodies, and in in such respect, then it's also started to shape their bodies, hasn't it? Um, you know. Possessed. Yeah, and and you you see this now in the facial features. You've got very much kind of goat like, which is very similar to um, the the keeper of secret, isn't it? Um, but again, uh, also this this wonderful ornate. It's not a mirror, but it kind of s it's similar to the mirror, isn't it? it on top of there, it looks like the cursed epitome. Model yeah, that we got a while. Um, it looks uh, really nice. The same ripple as well. The dude so with a, the dude with a whip is just amazing. It's just a great model. Mm -hmm. I just love the way the whip kind of wraps around and coils underneath the back there. It's just very cool. Um, yeah, and again, you can see a slightly sort of mutated facial feature. And then we're into the kind of more obvious de twisted demon now, aren't we? With the horns, the guy with the horns and the the sort of trident weapon. Um, loving the armor. Loving this kind of, you know, this um, super shaped armor. And again, you've got the Hoven, uh, cloven hoof kind of uh, footwork. Um, and then just going into, I think this is the last guy. There could be one more, actually. I get super twisted face now, horn poking out the forehead. Um, lovely little Slaneshi symbol right on the chest plate there. And uh, great big double-handed sort of axe-type weapon, bludgeoning-type weapon. If you look at the very tip of it, it's got a little heart on the... Yeah, on that's very cute. And then, um, oh yeah, there was one more. So, um, yeah, and probably the most, for want of a better word, comical face. He's got a real smile going off, hasn't he? He's quite happy. Um, yeah, again, I think it's one of those things. You do have to be careful over judging these things, don't you? Because it depends on the painting style. They may have accentuated what the actual model contains in terms of detail. They may have highlighted and popped it out even more. Um, even saying that, though, I like it. They're just twisted weirdos. Um, which, you know, let's face it, of all the kind of chaos factions, if you're going to have some weirdos in there, it's probably going to be the Slaneshi guys, isn't it? Just everything to excess, you know? It's definitely interesting, the whole, um, how they're bringing back the possessed mortals sort of stuff. Because with um, Age of Sigmar first come out, they sort of phased out all the Forsaken, or whatever, the, the Age of um, the um, Fantasy possessed. They yeah. Phased all that stuff out. And the only really possessed stuff was either Blight Kings, which weren't really possessed, or Wrathmongers and Skull Reapers that just got really mutated. But we haven't had a proper possessed demon mortal in a very long time. So it's quite nice to go back to that whole why these things are so mutated with their face and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Super cool looking. It's it's really exciting. Um, I'm I'm quite jealous to be honest because this is your faction. Um, I'm a little bit jealous because it's kind of like I'd like to jump in and do it, but you know I've also got Caradon Overlords to do, Beast of Chaos, and I still need to finish my Adam of Deepkin. So yeah, one day, one day. Um, okay. Um, only time will tell who got the better end of the deal. Um, well, given that guy's face, I'm guessing the demon. Um, uh, anyway, that's that's basically it. It kind of wraps it up. A lot of great stuff on the way. Let's all get super excited about it and um, keep a lookout for more previews online, basically. It does actually go on to, in the little asterisk bit, Sigvalt was de de defeated by a troll during end times in the world that was. To celebrate its victory, the troll urinated on the broken body of Sigvald as if to say, not so magnificent now. Personally, Slaneshi dude probably enjoyed that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I 
wouldn't have even surprised me. Hey, it's nice. It's nice to see some of the more vulgar aspects of uh, Warhammer returning to the to the big screen. Um, I'm quite happy with that, mate. Right. That's so from it's too early for rules. We don't know what they are. We don't know how they're going to play, do we? At this stage, um, I, I'm kind of guessing the army is going to the mortals are going to need to kind of reflect and reinforce uh, the 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 kind of the the demon aspect of the army for sure. I'm guessing um, the demon aspect is very glass cannony, so mm. they strike and they hit hard and they're very quick, but they can't receive anything so it'll be nice to have a tankier version of the army that can tank shooting and then other combats just so your quick side can you, you can't yeah you kind of hope with that armor that they're gonna be three up safe you know you'd, you'd hope for it wouldn't you you know yeah three up save you want them to be pretty quick um you know the shenanigans around being able to strike first is kind of half embedded into the army you want them to benefit from that um, but they do look like they hit a bit harder, don't they? You know, they look a bit... They're not exactly, you know, skinny little dudes, are they? There's quite a lot of, um, you know, strength in them. So, yeah, I'm and pretty excited. With the head knights of Slaanesh of all the god hosts, hopefully it keeps the whole sixes generated additional attack, and if they're above 20, additional two attacks. So it should be interesting if you throw them into the hosts. Because all of them have got like, pretenders and stuff. They all get re-rolls of ones above units of five. Yeah, um, yeah. The different rules and then how it will fit with the Keeper of Secrets and the Epitomes. So it just says Slanesh models. So they'll synergize really well together. That's exciting stuff, man. Well, Liam, thanks for joining me. This was just um, a super quick game, uh, super quick video. Uh, we just wanted to have a quick look. Um, as I mentioned, we are going to be back with a whole bunch of new battle reports soon. There's also a bunch of content that's been filmed and is just waiting editing as well. So there's uh, some quite exciting stuff coming up as well. We're going to do a huge, huge channel announcement coming up in about one to two weeks' time as well. Um, so look out for that one. I am not going to sneak any information on that at all. So uh, we'll see when we get there. Right, Liam, thank you very much for joining us, mate. Good to see you again. It's nice. as always a pleasure. Cool. And to everybody else out there, thank you for being patient. We know we've had a little bit of a hole in content, obviously, with all this crazy lockdown and being separated out. And I've had a really, really crazy, very busy period with work as well. So it's been... Um, challenging to be able to kind of do any kind of hobby whatsoever but back at the desk now hoping to kind of squeeze some in over the next few weeks and certainly with jack coming back from university we're definitely going to be able to film a whole bunch of extra stuff we're definitely going to do a few more chats and stuff so definitely. we'll see you on the other side of this keep tuned in if you haven't subscribed before hit subscribe because there's a ton more content coming soon cheers all bye yeah.